Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and I'm in my sister's craft room in Canada, and <laughs> we're trying to do this video. Okay, this is her finished craft room. I'm going to do a little tour of her stuff. So over here, she's got a tray system with all her different stickers, um, and it's all sorted by different occasion. And then up here, she's got some stickles and inks, and there's a picture frame that is waiting for a picture of the two of us in her craft room. So we're going to take a picture when we're done this video. Um, this thing here is from Pampered Chef. It's for kitchen utensils, but she's got all her markers and scissors and rulers and everything in there. Um, that's a picture of us in the 80s. A little scary, not showing that one. Um, and then these things here on this um, rail, this bar, um, and that one over there, they're from Ikea. And you can get all the different baskets and stuff, and you can hang all different little things on them. They're really cool. I'm not sure the price of those, but enjoyable. And then over here, she's got the little crate with the Ikea jars um, with little embellishments in them, sequins and little brads and stuff. And then up here, this is a picture of my niece. That's her daughter when she was a clown for Halloween a few years ago. Adorable. And then over here, she has her gypsy. It's plugged in, ready to go. We did a little lesson there the other night with the gypsy, so she's going to start using that soon. Right, Annette? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then she's a fan of Wizard of Oz. And then this thing is cool. It's, um, it's an old-fashioned cash register drawer, so she's got all her stamps in there. And then this thing here, she's starting to sort all her chipboard letter letters in there. Um, so that's there, and then she has the, they're like old-fashioned looking clothespins, and she's putting her ribbons on there, and then her Cricut, and then this is a file cabinet. Down the bottom she has storage, and then in here she has all her scraps, all her scrap paper, which I've said before is very important to keep. I mostly just use my scraps, so she's got them all sorted by color, and then here she's got all her Cricut cartridges, um, sorted so that if she does, if she makes anything, she can um, just like cut it out and file it away and then she knows she has some of those things already cut out. And then this is her Expedit. She's got the dark brown one to go with her stuff and then she has her toy collection up here which is very funky. She's She was born in the 60s. I was born in the 70s. So her stuff is a little bit older. It's really cool. Best of the West and Jeannie's Country Store and she said this things to make and do. She used to take that to the library at school all the time when she was little. She did not steal a library book. She eventually found the same book. Um, she's got her old monkey and stuff. Kermit. She's a fan of Muppets and theater and all that kind of stuff. So really cool toys. So over here she's got the Bind It All and her Zutter stuff. And then these containers are CD boxes from um, Ikea. So she's got markers and glue and ribbon and all her little extra things there. Um, and then she has books and her scrapbook magazines are in that um, white thing. And then in these are cookie jars. She's got like some styrofoam balls and some yarn. Um, these are sandwich containers actually from Ikea. You can get a whole set of those. Um, and we're starting to sort all her die cuts. Um, little tags and stuff. So that's all her die cut things. And then this is her chipboard. You'll recognize the um, Hillshire Farms meat containers. I brought some up for. And um, so those we have her chipboard. We're starting to sort. And then she's got some buttons and things and these little containers. She got these at Walmart. She She's enjoying these. So she's starting to sort some little things in there. And then this is her Tim Holtz section. So she's got um, it labeled as vintage. So that's all her vintage papers and stuff. And then in this box is all her little um, doodad things for embellishments for Tim Holtz stuff. And those um, configuration boxes. And then down here she has her scissors. And then she has her Cricut cartridges. And she got some new ones for Christmas. So those are waiting to be unwrapped. And then these are the Cropper Hopper um, things. And she's got her paper all sorted um, in those, done by color. That's all pattern paper, but it's done by color. And then this is her cardstock, and that's sorted by color as well. And then down here she has um, some different paper packs, and she has a lot of Christmas now. We were into um, home goods 
which is like Home Sense in the States, and and Winners, which is like oh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and they have all their Christmas paper, the 12 by 12, um, on for 50% off. So because it's considered Christmas, so they get rid of all their Christmas stuff. And then she has her Martha Stewart scoreboard. Um, so I hope everyone got one of those for Christmas if you don't have one already. And then she's got all her other little papers and things there. And then this is, um, these are all little, like, little envelope things. And she's got her stuff sorted too with, like, school events and the kids' activities and different trips and stuff. And then she has stamps, all different stamps in there, and just some extra containers, her sewing machine. And then these big boxes are from... Um, Ikea as well and she has stuff like this one here it's like the sizzle kind of paper um, that you can use for baskets and stuff so and that's what is in there so that is her room it's taken a while to get together but we finally got it done I'm only ever up here maybe twice a year so and I was trying to help her so it's hard to do from long distance but we finally got it together, and maybe next time I'm up here for a visit, we will actually scrapbook something and get that on video. So, thanks for watching. All right, take care. Happy New Year. Bye bye.